In this video we're going to um, see how the um, folded edge is made. That's it with the edge down. It may look like a not lot more work, <clears throat> but it's probably um, just as the same length of time as the um, ribbed edging, or maybe even quicker, because this is done double crochet. So you've made your hat height to, to for a, what was it approximately approximately four and a half inches thereabouts. So it's approximately four and a half inches. Now we're stopping at four and a half inches because we need to do a a plain row of double crochet. So our next row is just going to be a, a double crochet into the um, front post double crochets and that's that's going to be the setup round um, for the hat edge because what happens is inside your hat it's all ribbed and if you don't do the, um, the, the setup rounds there's two rounds of double crochet it um, it just curls so that eliminates the curling of this um, hat edge by doing two rounds of double crochet to set up. Okay, I'll just get stuck into it. I'm just going to chain two for the first double crochet and I'm just going to work one double crochet into the front post double crochet. Double crochet. And that's our front post double crochet. We're going into a double crochet like you normally would just do a normal standard double crochet. And if you see here that um, oh, raised edge is not here anymore so that's going to eliminate our curl from the other side. Get stuck into this round. One double crochet into each stitch. One double crochet into each. Well, that's two. Dirt. One double crochet into each front post double crochet. One double crochet into each stitch around. So you can pause the video if you like, or whatever, instead of watching me, and just complete the round. And we'll still join it the same. No, no, we won't join it the same. Don't split your yarn. So you can crochet along with me, pause the video, fast forward it, do whatever you like, it's up to you. How far we've got to go. Well that's how far. I've still got that much to do, so Bear with me, or crochet along with me, or stop the video, fast forward it. <coughs> I've made oh, nearly a dozen of these hats. I started the pattern. I just think they're really cute. I've got a neighbour who I just found out they're having a little boy.
many like Superman, so I made a couple of these in blue and red and put a Superman S on them with a triangle behind it. And um, one of my daughters is having a baby. I made her a few of these as well. Now I've got a knot for my arm. Uh, if I stop and start this video, it'll just it'll just be split and then I'll have to join it and I don't want to do that so my computer's so slow and all that sort of stuff takes forever. Um how do we do it? We'll just join it the same way we've been joining it so the seams are the same. Okay, slip stitch to join. Now this round um, we're going to do one double crochet into the front loop only. So chain two as normal and we're going to do a, um, work a double crochet into the front loop Front loop only of each stitch around. The front loop, that's the front loop. This is the front, that's the back. Now the reason we're doing the front loop only is because I'll just do a few more double crochets into the front loop only. Because what that does gives you a folding effect, a nice folding effect so your edge will fold over. So if you try to, to put it, um, try to fold it over that way, it, do, it doesn't go as nice, but this will fold over nicely because you're doing your double crochets into the front loops only of the stitch, so you get that fold. If you're doing it through the back of the stitch, it would fold nicely over that way but because we want it to fold this way we're doing our double crochets into the front loop of the double crochet so it's only into those front loops that we're going to be working this round and that's why you have uh, you can't do um, the double crochets around the post either because you need to go in through here and that's why you need to do this round um, to set up for this as well and to stop the curling. So it's just two strip, two rows of double crochet. One's a normal row and the next row is into the front loop only. And then we're going to go back to the um, front post double crochet stitch after this. And I think we'll only need to do, after this round, there's only two more rounds to do, and then yeah, that's done. So into the front loop only. Work one double crochet into the front loop only. Double crochet into the front loop only. row two of your folded hat edge. crochet into the front loop only of the next double crochet.
got a dollar for every hat I've made. I've made hundreds of them. It's just something I do. Say something I like and then work it out in your head. Then put it down on paper and stick it on my blog. I'd rather share my knowledge and keep it to myself. So here we go to the end of the round and we'll join it in the same manner as we have done in previous rounds. So now This is the front of our work, and this is the back. So what we're going to do here is that uh, we are going to chain two and turn. Not like we would usually do. So we work, we've been working this way around with chain two. Now spin your head around so you're looking at the inside of the hat. And now you're going to be doing your front post double crochet on this side. Work one front post double crochet around each stitch of the round. And I'll just show you why in a sec. scrunched over working behind this camera. Okay. Just have a look at the hat. And you can see we see um, edge folded up. But we've got the um, front post double crochet on this side. If we had of hadn't have spun our hat around we would have had this effect on that side folded over which we don't want so that's what it looks like with the edge down but when we fold it up which is what we want that's the kind of edge we're going to get so we're working with the inside of our hat facing towards us and we're just going to complete um, this round and one more round and then you're going to finish your hat off and that's it. So let's complete this round because you don't do it, you don't have to spin it around again. We're still working in the round, but we're working from the inside of the hat around. One front post, double crochet, you can have your stitch around. And we're just going to do one more round after this and finish off. And really. Maybe hats are good to make because they're pretty quick.